What's up mushroom fam? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. Today I wanted to talk about bottlenecks in mushroom cultivation. So if you haven't seen our video yet, go check out our mushroom farming grow schedule video. It kind of breaks down the different categories of growers and that will make that'll help make this video more digestible. I'm going to ask all of you guys to give us a thumbs up smash that subscribe button it really helps us get the word out and it helps boost the youtube algorithm so i appreciate that coming from you guys for helping share all of this content if you haven't seen that video go watch that and come back and i'll start explaining the different bottlenecks in the different levels of growth for starting a mushroom farm if you just finished watching that congratulations let's get into this video so the first kind of bottleneck of growing mushrooms is going to be for the hobbyist or what I call the weekend warrior. Now often this bottleneck is going to be time. So the weekend warrior is someone who has a full-time job or is a student or someone with a family who can't devote 40 hours a week to growing mushrooms. So the bottleneck is time and this can be resolved by setting aside about six hours a weekend to growing mushrooms. So you can save time by buying grow kits or buying pre-inoculated bags or ready to fruit bags and just slicing them open and harvesting them. You know, time is money. So if you are interested in this hobby and you just want mushrooms that are ready to pick every weekend, I recommend just you know, stopping at one of uh, one of the more reputable brands that are out there. Uh, we don't sell grow kits, but we do sell liquid cultures. So if you want to be a little more hands-on, you can prepare your substrates on a Saturday and then do all of your procedures on Sunday. So that's a very basic setup, but oftentimes that's for people who have a really busy lifestyle and just want fresh mushrooms all the time for the weekend. Okay, so as you start to scale up and become more of a professional cultivator, then you will enter what I call the market master stage. So this is going to be about 100 pounds a week um, in like a four or 500 square foot environment. And oftentimes the limitation will be the space. So I've seen it over and over again, and I've done it myself where you start out as a hobbyist and you get really into the mushroom scene and the mycology world and slowly but surely you're starting to grow more and more mushrooms next thing you know your whole entire basement is a commercial operation like for my circumstance i have a lab on one side of my basement and then the other side was made for fruiting if you are interested go check out oak and spore their early videos he did it in a garage or myers mushrooms started off his mushroom farm in a garage so this is very common and what often happens is the demand will outpace your supply so the grow space is the limitation at this stage which is why we invested into a 1500 square foot quonset building at our new farm in sedalia so as you start to grow at being a solo mushroom farmer is very possible up to a certain point so as i start to grow more and more mushrooms the picking and the packaging starts to become more of a bottleneck and that takes us to the next level of grower which is a community cultivator so that's going to be 400 to 500 pounds a week in a 1500 to 2000 square foot facility you're producing for farmers markets chefs csas uh, even food distributors at this point um, and the bottleneck here is really going to be labor um, mushrooms don't pick themselves so as you start to grow more and more mushrooms just be aware that the picking and the packaging and the handling and distribution is going to start to build up dramatically over time so for us here at our farm um, my myself and my wife handle everything and we kind of um, outsource 
some of the distribution to our CSAs, but I really love going to the farmer's market here in Denver. So every Saturday at Cherry Creek Farmer's Market, we devote our whole entire day to meeting face to face with our customers. I get to enjoy the outside, the sunshine, the beautiful mountain views here on the front range. So I love that part. But if you're growing, you know, 400 pounds a week, just be aware that you're going to need extra hands or you're gonna to have to come up with a really good system for helping to distribute those mushrooms before they go bad. So keep them cold, get them sold. That is the way of the mushroom farmer. Okay, so as you start to scale your business even more past the uh, community cultivator into the commercial conquistador operation level, um, you're going to experience even more of a bottleneck with labor. Um, there's also going to be just market limitations in your area. So you're going to have to consider, you know, national distribution probably or really large scale distributors. Like, um, I don't know, there's, there's some, some larger scale refrigeration truck distribution companies. Look it up in your area. Cisco is a pretty big brand name. But anyway, as you start to scale up, just consider your labor as your bottleneck. Um, early on, it's going to be time, then space, and then labor, and then finally just the market capacity. So mushrooms are, the market for mushrooms is growing rapidly. There's been a blessing with all of this, you know, all of the mainstream culture taking on mushrooms recently, whether it's the uh, psychedelic movement here in Colorado and on the West Coast, or the HBO series um, that, that, you know, there's a, a fungal outbreak or fantastic fungi that was on Netflix. All of these things are building up into this big momentum of mushroom farming. So if you'd like to learn more about the daily ins and outs of mushroom farming, the different procedures, I recommend checking out our ebook, Growing Gourmet Mushrooms for Market, a guide to making a living growing gourmet mushrooms at home. Go check out our Etsy shop, Fresh Fungi. We also have a bunch of liquid culture starters for getting your operations going. We quality control all of our cultures and they're the same ones that we grow here on our farm. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're looking forward to more mycology videos like these. And until next time, much love.